Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here. And just about a week ago, I did show you guys how to run full speed PSP games on your device using the latest version of PPSS PP Emulator. Well, I'm excited to bring you guys the next video, and this is going to be showing you guys how to run a full speed Nintendo DS emulator on your iOS device. Now, of course, the newer your device, the better it'll work. So, on my iPhone 6 Plus, I am just astounded at how well this works. I remember over a year ago, I showed you guys the original Nintendo DS emulator, and it was still in a very early beta stage, it ran very bad, I mean 5 to 10 frames per second, and now I'm running Mario Kart at full speed on my iPhone 6 Plus. Now I can imagine that on the new iPad Air 2 with the new AAX chip, Man, this is going to be crazy fast, but on my iPhone 6 Plus, it runs like a dream. And the touchscreen controls work, everything works. I'm really excited to show you guys this. Let's go ahead and demo this out. So I've downloaded two games to show you guys. First off, Mario Kart. And if you guys remember last year, man, it ran like crap. It was so slow, but wow, it's so much better now. Anyways, let's go ahead and launch the game. And the sound works great. I'm happy to report that it's just, you know, it's playable. I actually sat playing this for quite a while. I remember back a while ago, we used to play this with a whole bunch of my friends, you know, when we all had DS's back in the good old days. I love the battles, the balloons. Anyways, so let's just set up a game real quick. And all right, cool. So let's try this guy right here. This was seriously one of my funnest games on the Nintendo DS. And man, this is just great that you can run these. It's incredible how far the developers have come in just one year. So anyways. Cool, use that two second trick. <laughs> so I can say that it is a little difficult when you gotta hold this guy and then press A at the same time. And L and R buttons are kind of hard to use, but let's see. Cool, got him. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is completely playable. You can play all of your favorite games that you used to love and play on your old Nintendo DS on your iPhone. Now, on the iPhone 5S, I can still report it runs great. On the iPhone 5, now depending on the settings you have, you're going to notice a little bit of a stutter. So really, it just depends on which device you have. However, it runs on all of them. You know, the newer your device is, understandably, the better it's going to be. And Mario Kart for me runs great. Not all games are going to be perfect. So Pokemon has a little bit of difficulty and depending of course on which version of it and I'll show you that in just a second but Mario Kart man this thing runs like a dream and you know I've, I can play it very well especially if the device is in landscape mode it's, it gets a little bit better it's a little easier to access the L and R buttons but as you can see, the screen gets a little smaller. I have no problems playing it like this in vertical mode. However, the L and R buttons, as I said, are a little difficult to use. Now, the great thing about this is that you can use a controller with it. So if you guys do have that, you can set up a Bluetooth controller and play Game Boy Advance or PSP or Nintendo DS emulator games with a controller. So that's better. However, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install this. And before I do that, let's just try out Pokemon Diamond. I want to show you guys how this runs. It's a little a little bit different. However, this game doesn't need very high FPS to play. It's still very enjoyable. But let me just show you how this works. So of course, I just want to warn you guys that you should only download games that you own in physical format because it is illegal, of course, to pirate games. Uh, anyways, so, you know, it does work. It's a little difficult to use it with a D-pad and especially if you use the joystick. You have a choice of using that as well. It gets a little hard to use. But generally, you know, it's very playable. I can't see why you wouldn't do this. This is so much fun, guys. I mean, I love it. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install this guy on your iOS device running 8.1, 8.1.1, or iOS 7 even. So this does work on the latest 8.1.1 firmware, and there are two ways of installing it, with a jailbreak and without a jailbreak. And I will be showing you guys both methods. All right, so first off and real quick, I'll show you guys how to do this without a jailbreak. Now, I must warn you guys first off that if you guys are not jailbroken, the emulator will not be able to tap into all of the resources of your device. It's better if you do jailbreak and then install this emulator. So that way, all of the resources on your device are usable by the Nintendo DS emulator and you can get much better frame rate. Now it is still possible and it still works very well if you're not jailbroken. All you guys have to do is visit this website. It's pgyer forward slash yz capital v capital r. 
Now, once you guys get in here, just select install now and it'll begin to download to your you know, home screen. Now, okay, if I go here, there is one issue, however. If you guys are on iOS 8.1.1, it's a 50-50. I mean, I had it install for me one time and then I go back and it doesn't install anymore. It's so weird how it works like that. On 8.1, same issue. However, if you guys are on an even older firmware, you'll have no problems. So uh, just click install. Now, however, it just never installs. It doesn't let me install all the way. But if you guys are on a older firmware, it will install for sure if it's below 8.1. If you're on 8.1 and 8.1.1, it's a hit and miss. I did have it installed for me a couple times and a couple times it doesn't work. So, however, with a jailbreak, which is very easy to do, I mean, it works 100% of the time. So you guys, of course, will need a jailbreak. And uh, in order to do that, you'll click on this link right here. It'll take you to that video, jailbreak, and then you guys can do this, but Anyways, open up Cydia and we're going to need to add just one source. So you guys will need to actually install the Hack Your iPhone repo and to get that repo and the entire guide as well as where you can download ROMs down below in the description, click on the link. I have a full guide. I actually would prefer you guys read that one because it's easier to understand. But anyways, so you guys want to search for NDS for iOS. Now, there it is. So go ahead and click on that guy. It's the stable version. So go ahead and install it. This is the latest one. And once you guys do have that installed, it'll be available on your springboard. It'll look just like that. Now it's incredible, you know, just one year, how far the developers have come. And from here, when you guys first open it up, you will not see anything inside. And unfortunately, there's no little plus icon, so you can't download the ROMs directly to your device. And there's two methods of installing ROMs. First off, you can SSH them into your device. It's not very easy. However, it's not that difficult either or two, you can download them directly from your device. Unfortunately, a lot of the ROM sites you guys are used to, you know, for example, Cool ROM don't support Nintendo DS ROMs. Now there are a certain few websites that do support them. Unfortunately, I cannot show you guys how to download ROMs in this video, so you will have to read about it down below in the description or just click on this link right here. It'll take you to my website with some of the most popular ROM apps. You know, Nintendo is pretty crazy about, you know, downloading ROMs that you do not own and, you know, I don't want to mess around with that. So if you guys want to learn about it, find out on my website. I can't share it in this video, but it is very easy to download from your device directly or through SSH. And I'll show you guys how in the description, but you know, download games only that you own. It's just a disclaimer. I do have to tell you guys, but anyways, once you guys do have one of those downloaded, it's just as simple as opening it up and launching the game. Now, optimal settings are already included. However, if you go into settings over here, you can adjust the frame skip. So if one setting isn't working for you on auto, I would recommend go to one or two. These are probably the optimal settings. Now leave it on auto. If it doesn't work, then you want to mess around over here. Sometimes disabling sound could help with the frame rate, but otherwise you guys should be set right off the bat. It's the developer version where you can really get into all the settings, but this is the latest release and there's really not much to customize in here. Of course, you can choose either a D-pad or a joystick. You know, choose between those, whichever is more comfortable for you. For Pokemon, I found that this guy doesn't help at all. It's just really inaccurate, but this guy is much better. Anyways, let's go ahead and run this guy. Just want to show you guys how this works in another setting. So I don't know about multiplayer, but I really doubt that works. I don't know. What if it does? It'd be interesting to find out. Uh, anyways, single player. Battle will always be my favorite. And, uh, okay, so in my old video, this is actually where I showed the first setting where I was playing and man, it ran so slow, but now I cannot believe how fast it is. And yes, I did try the microphone trick to see if it would blow my balloon, but unfortunately that doesn't work. Gotta use select. And okay, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> so this is completely usable. I mean, I'm running it at full speed or near full speed and I love it, man. It's just such a blast to get this on my iPhone. Ah, okay. But anyways, guys, that's just about it. How to install a fully functional Nintendo DS emulator on your iOS device. Now, if you have an older device, of course, it's going to run a little bit slower, but on my iPhone 6 Plus, I have nothing to complain about. It works so well, especially compared to last year, but oh man, 
<laughs> Anyways, enjoy all that nostalgia, guys. Have a great time with your Nintendo DS emulator. Hope this video helped you guys. And like I said, I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys how to download the ROMs in this video, but you can learn all about it down below in the description. It's really simple. So, you know, enjoy the emulator, guys. Have a great day. Peace.